Hi viewers, today in this video, let's see the case study of Spotify on how they use the artificial intelligence to win the music streaming world. Before going to this video, I request you to subscribe 5 minutes learning channel in YouTube to get the video updates and click the bell icon below so that you don't miss any of my videos. Now let's move to the case study. There are millions of people listening to music every minute of the day. Brands like Spotify gather huge size of data of song preferences, keyword preferences, playlist data, geographic location of listeners and so on. Data plays a major role in driving decisions at Spotify. The information from both the content of the platform and from the online conversation about music and artist are used to enhance the user's experience. Discovery Weekly, a concept of Spotify which has reached almost 40 million people in the first year of inception. In this concept, each Monday, individual users are presented with a customized list of 30 songs. This recommendation playlist consists of songs that are not even heard by users before but the recommendation are generated based on the user's search history patterns and potential music preferences. Machine learning enables the recommendations to improve over time. This helps users returning to the music app and also enables greater exposure for artists who users may not have searched organically. In order to generate the Discovery Weekly personalized music list for users, Spotify uses a combination of data models, which we will see one by one in the coming slides. Collaborative filtering model. This model compares a user's behavioral trends with the other users, as I explained in my previous case study of Netflix, which uses this collaborative filtering model to boost their recommendation model, where recommendations are created for users based on the viewer's star-based ratings. But Spotify doesn't have star system for songs, so they use implicit feedback like the number of times the user has played the particular song, saved a song to their list, or clicked on the artist page upon listening to the song. Spotify uses all this information to provide relevant recommendation for other users that have similar behavioral pattern. Next model is Natural Language Processing NLP. This model analyzes human speech through text. Spotify's artificial intelligence tracks metadata, blog spots, news, discussions about specific artists and songs in the internet. It looks at what people are saying about certain songs or artists and the language being used. It also sees which other songs and artists are being discussed at the same time. It also identifies the descriptive terms, noun phrases and other text associated with those songs and artists in that discussion. These keywords are then categorized into cultural vectors and top terms. Every artist and song is associated with thousands of top terms that are subject to change every day. Each term is assigned with a weightage, reflecting its relative importance in terms of how many times an individual would refer that term against a particular song or artist they like. Spotify doesn't have a fixed dictionary for this, but the system is able to identify new music terms as and when they come up, not just in English language, but also in other languages too. Spams and non-music related contents are discarded through filtering process. Next is audio model. In this model, the data are analyzed from the raw audio tracks and categorizes songs accordingly. This helps Spotify to evaluate all songs to create recommendation regardless of online coverage. For example, if a new song is released by a new artist on the platform, NLP model will not be able to pick on it if the coverage on online and social media is low. So by using the song data from audio model, the collaborative filtering model 
will be able to analyze the audio model and recommend it to the similar users. Spotify also adopted convolution neural network, a technology which is used in facial recognition. So here instead of pixel, Spotify uses the audio data to build the audio model and categorize the audio model based on similarities. In Spotify, predicting the listener's preferences is tackled using audio signals and by training a regression model to predict the latent representation of these songs in a dimensional space. The idea of this approach is that collaborative filtering model will project both the listeners and the songs in a shared low dimensional latent space as shown in this diagram. Suppose if two songs are close to each other in this space, it means that they are similar. If uh, it is close to a user, it means that it's a good recommendation for that user. If we can predict the position of a song in this space from the audio models, then using this, we can recommend it to the right audience without using the historical usage of data. Personalization is the key element that contribute to Spotify's superior user's experience. It is also evident from the introduction of innovative playlist concepts like Discovery Weekly and Release Radar. But how does Spotify know us so well? In 2017, Spotify acquired a French startup firm Niland, which is a music technology company that provides music search and discovery engines based on deep learning and machine learning algorithms. This acquisition helped to improve the technology beyond Spotify's personalization element. Spotify also acquired a blockchain company called Media Chain Labs. In this company, the right people get paid for every track played on Spotify, a task that would only increase the complication as the user base expands exponentially. Finally, machine learning has become core to Spotify's offering, helping artists to better understand their audiences and reach and to get discovered. Thus, Spotify remain in the top of music streaming world through deep understanding of their customer base and predictive recommendation models. Thank you viewers. We'll see you soon with another case study. Please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon below so that you don't miss any of my videos.